Hey folks, Connor from NISOS here to talk to you about two different types of hub motors. We're going to talk about direct drive or gearless hub motors and geared hub motors. So in this video, we'll talk about how each motor type works. We'll talk about the pros and cons that each offer and how they affect your bike. So a little bit about a direct drive or gearless motor. Uh, they work by having a series of magnets along the outside of the motor itself. And you'll notice that they're usually pretty big. Uh, you'll find them on Stromer and Bionics uh, motor kits. And the way they work is that it's just one drive unit, the magnets pull the motor forward, and that's what's gonna keep it spinning in that direction. That also allows a feature of regenerative braking. So when the magnetic current is reversed, that's what's putting power back into your battery. So that's a nice feature that you get with uh, gearless hub motors. One of the downsides that direct drive motors have is that the motor has rolling resistance when it isn't active. So this means that the wheel doesn't spin freely on its own. It'll make it harder to pedal the bike if you do catch yourself running out of battery. They're also not quite as efficient when it comes to battery consumption, which is why some of the higher end bikes with direct drive motors, like the Stromer ST2, need very high capacity batteries in order to offer the long range that they have. But all in all, with direct drive motors, you get less jump off the start, but these motors maintain higher speeds much more easily and efficiently. Then going into geared hub motors, uh, they work exactly how it sounds like it works in the name. Uh, it's going to have gears very similar to your bicycle cassette, and that's going to allow the motor to be a little bit lighter, a little more compact, and also give you a little more torque. Another nice feature that geared hub motors offer is that they do allow the rear wheel to freewheel. So if you do end up pushing your bike a little bit past its limits, it'll still be able to ride like a regular bike, even without battery. It'll just be a heavier regular bike. Contrary to gearless motors, geared motors are great off the line and offer really good startup torque. But the downside is that they're not as efficient at higher speeds, and you'll have to work a little bit harder to maintain that top speed. This means on a bike like the Bulls Outlaw, that if you're really cranking it at top speed, it will burn your battery a little faster than it will on a direct drive motor, like on the Stromer ST1 Platinum. Over the years, technology has improved on both of these motor types tremendously. So in terms of quality, there's really not any difference between the two. The Outlaw and the S21 Platinum are two equally priced Class 3 speed pedelecs that can reach about 27 to 28 miles an hour with pedaling. But because the Outlaw has a geared motor, it's lighter and has much more torque. But the ST1 requires a lot less effort to retain its top speed. So which motor type is better, geared or gearless? Well, the answer is it really depends on what you like. Uh, if you prefer a lower weight bike that maybe has a little bit more torque and you don't really mind the noise, uh, geared motors will be perfectly fine for you. Uh, if you'd want something that's a little quieter, maybe goes a little bit faster typically, uh, and if you don't mind the weight, a gearless motor is also great for you. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, as well as turn on your notifications to let you know when we release more e-bike tech videos.